Graduating in a pandemic, it's something we've all talked about a lot. We've talked about how to support our high school seniors, and we've talked about how as parents, we're missing a lot, even the smaller milestones like my own daughter's fifth grade graduation. But we can't overlook our college seniors. They are headed out into the real world without being able to fully complete the education they set out to. I recently sat down with University of Sioux Falls President Dr. Brett Bradfield to get his advice on how we can support our college seniors. And we think you will be glad to hear that he also sees a very important silver lining to all of this. Dr. Bradfield, thank you for joining me. I want to start out by just asking you what USF is doing about graduation this year. Well, about uh, three to four weeks ago, we started a process of developing our own virtual graduation. We uh, filmed right here in our Jeske Fine Arts, and uh, we've actually uh, ordered boxes. They have been loaded in the last few days here with uh, all the things for commencement for our students that are going to be mailed out, plus some surprises and gifts for our seniors. Our college kids, when I think about going to college, it's that time that you leave, you become independent, you form a new support group that's usually your roommates, your friends, the people around you in school, your professors. Now all of a sudden, a lot of us are finding our college kids home again, virtually without that support group. How has that made this even harder for some of these college kids, especially the seniors? Yeah, I, I think it's perhaps actually been the most difficult thing for all of us because uh, we love our students. Um, we know this is an important part of life. Any of us that have had this experience have very fond memories of it. We also know that the college process itself is uh, takes an individuating as they call it, which sounds like a made up word for many people, but it's not. It's a time when uh, young men and women find their own uh, distinct individual identity and uh, they learn important social relationships and to have that taken from them suddenly without warning has created a sense of emptiness and loss a gap in their life uh, we've certainly heard that from our students in healthy ways and uh, one of the things we did immediately was try to make sure we did have services set up for students that may be having more difficulty with that uh, with our campus counselor and a campus pastor etc so we're very aware of it we've heard it we know it's real I think a lot of us have a sense of, of resilience because we've already had something happen, something maybe bad or negative, and we've already come through it, and we know we can, but college kids maybe haven't yet had the experience or, or the time even to have the opportunities to experience that. How can we as parents in a community help support college kids now as they're developing this resilience for the first time maybe? Yeah, and I, I think that's a, a, a great question of the day, Ashley. I think uh, the most important part is that we're open to communication, uh, that we do talk with our, our students and or our children, depending which side of the table you're sitting on. Um, but, you know, for our seniors in particular, uh, you know, this was already a time of where you feel this mixed emotion of great optimism and, and trepidation simultaneously. You know, what am I going to do now that the, the world is real? I'm graduating. I think COVID-19 has added another level to that uh, uncertainty. Uh, for some of this, some of our students and some of our children, depending again on the perspective, this is the first big, real pervasive challenge of their lives. A lot of these kids were in the middle of an internship or they were students mm -hmm student teaching. This was their last semester before they had off to be educators or they were in their clinicals and they haven't just missed out on graduations and, and symbolic things. They've missed out on actual on the job training and, and education right. that's needed. Right. That has created some challenges truthfully because um, everyone is playing a little bit of catch up. So some for our professional programs and education, nursing, social work, for example, um, the accrediting bodies expect certain kinds of activities um, and experiences to be part of the college experience that matches that theoretical constructs of the classroom with the realities of the workplace. And so it took some work to get through that. Um, I would tell you that I've probably done, I'm, I'm always writing, but I've done more writing in the last two months than I could ever explain as we send out letters to explain how we'll navigate certain issues. Uh, we copy parents, even though these are adults, they're young adults, and parents have some of those same anxieties as they speak with their children about their anxieties. 
So uh, it's, it's been a lot of work, but we're managing it. Uh, one thing about any crisis, uh, it, it brings out the very best of humanity. Um, it also brings out the very best of innovation. And let's talk about that innovation because you as a, as a school have found innovative ways to do things, but our students are experiencing this big growth in, in innovative capacities and perseverance. Can that be what they use to set themselves apart as they go into this job market, that they survived this pandemic, that they graduated through it, and that they've now developed all these assets to a future employer? I actually think that's a great point, Ashley. I, in fact, you know, there's a lot of literature about our Gen Z students that are graduating. Um, but one of the things that always comes to mind is that generationally, they're a bit jaded by all of the talk of terrorism and global warming and all the problems. And I think that we have a great gift in this generation because the education they receive in college um, is the very thing uh, combined with that sense of optimism that could solve world problems. They don't have blind spots that a lot of, of us do uh, generationally, and I think it could be a great benefit. You know, it's it's not something we want for our kids to not be graduating in a, in a in the graduation ceremony they wanted and have that public acclaim, and a lot of this is really tough, but maybe there is no better time to be a college senior, especially at a liberal arts school where they can take all of this together and save the world someday. Yeah, exactly. And you know, sometimes uh, we've all had this experience we don't realize the value of something until we're a few years beyond it. And we can kind of look back and say, well, it wasn't pleasant. I probably wouldn't have asked for that to happen. But as I look back, some other things did happen in my life that, that changed it in profound ways and helped me be a better person, a better professional, a better parent, um, a better person ser serving humankind. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me and for everything uh, you're doing for your students and their families. I have a feeling that the look of education's changed maybe forever, so let's, we'll keep in touch as we go through navigating yeah. the summer into yeah. next year. Yeah, there's also opportunity in that, though, too. Thank you. Thank uh, you. For having me on.